Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm sharing some of my favorites from fashion, beauty, accessories. I have a few things I wanna share with you guys that I have really been loving. And some of you have been asking me about some of these things, so I wanna just elaborate a little bit more. And so let's just jump right in. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Ashley Park. This is Park Avenue where I have tons of fashion content. So if you love outfit ideas, unboxings, styling videos, lifestyle content, I've got something for you. Be sure to subscribe and make sure you guys turn on those notification bells because I upload multiple times a week and I don't want you to miss a thing. So let's just start with makeup. The first thing I wanna show you guys is my lip gloss. This Bobbi Brown lip gloss that I have shared with you guys a couple times before, I have really gotten a chance to wear and I'm almost done with this tube and I wanna get um, actually a couple other shades and another one of this shade. I really love this lip gloss. It's crushed oil infused gloss and it gives me a really natural um, lip gloss look. I sometimes wear this on top of lipstick, but I do really like it just to throw it on because it's not sticky at all. And I can wear it even when my lips are dry because it's oil infused, it feels nourishing and it's not sticky. I love, love, love this lip gloss and I have it in the shade Free Spirit, which I think is a really nice, like nudie, everyday color. And they have some deeper shades and they have some other like pinky shades as well. So I definitely wanna check this out. And this is a color that I believe will look good on a lot of skin tones, especially if you um, love to top, like wear this as like a top layer over a lip gloss or a lip liner, and then of course you can make it work. But I still think alone, it'll look good on almost everyone. And the next beauty item I wanna to talk to you guys about is my foundation. I've been wearing the Makeup Forever um, Blurring Powder Foundation for a while now, I mean some months, and I really love it. I think I've had it since last summer, to be honest with you guys, and I bought another one recently because I finally finished this one. Um, it takes me a long time to finish makeup because I only wear makeup when I film or like if I'm going somewhere, I guess, relatively special. <laughs> but when I'm just running my day-to-day -day errands, I don't wear foundation at all. So I really love this one. And I can tell you guys, as someone who doesn't really love to wear makeup, I don't really love to have to wear makeup. I like to wear it when I feel inspired or when I feel like I wanna be a little bit more put together or just when I feel like wearing it. This is a really, really comfortable makeup. I love the way it does blur my pores. It smooths out my skin and it doesn't like settle. And it looks really, really nice. And afterwards, I just spray like a little bit of um, like a setting mist over my skin just to waken up the powder a little bit, just to take away that powdery finish. But I really like it. I think it's just like my favorite foundation. And now there are some other foundations I wanna try from Makeup Forever. They recently released in like an HD skin foundation that I'm curious about. Um, so I'm gonna try that. And I even think that I'm going to layer this on top of it when I want an even more like full coverage because this powder is pretty flawless. I really like it. And you guys, so much so that I hit pan on it, which never happens. It almost never happens. I have quite a few like makeup products that barely look like, they just have like a little divot. <laughs> I hit, when I hit pan on something it's because I really, really love it. So I'm telling you guys, try it out. It really looks good. The only thing I will say, uh, I think they should have a shade in between this shade. My shade that I wear is Y425. And then the next shade is too deep and too red for me. I can pull it off in the summertime, um, but I still have to play around with it. This seems to be a really good shade for me in the winter months when I don't get a lot of sun. So that's the only thing I would say that they should have a middle shade between this one and the next one. And what's also great about this is that it's refillable. I know on the actual Makeup Forever website, you can pop this, um, like this, the little palette out and then put in a refill. On the Sephora website, I haven't seen a refill. I don't know if I'm overlooking it. I'm going to Sephora soon, actually. I'm gonna ask them if I can just purchase a refill. I didn't see it last time I went, so I'm gonna see if that's something they can tell me about. If not, I did buy a whole new container of it, which is fine, I really don't mind. But I just love it so much that I think you guys should try it. I encourage you all to definitely try this. And you could also use it as a finishing powder. I saw some people um, were using this as a finishing powder just to add like another layer of coverage. I have one more beauty item that I wanna show you guys and it is this vanity mirror. So this is just the box that it came in. I'm gonna show you guys the actual mirror in a second. But I mentioned this in a video where I talked about last minute Christmas present ideas. And in that video, I shared a lot of stuff. It's still it's still very relevant if you guys wanna check it out. Um, I'll link it for you guys. It has quite a few um, items that you might be interested in even now. But I mentioned this vanity mirror and I needed one myself, so I ordered it. So I've had it since around the time of that video, which is like the second week of, of December, something like that. So from then till now, I've been able to really test it out and try it out. And I really like it. Here is the actual mirror. And I really like this because I can take it with me when I travel. It's very convenient. You know, hotels or villas, they usually have really poor lighting. 
especially in places where you would think they would have good lighting. The lighting is horrible in the bathrooms and there's no way to do your makeup except natural light. And if you're going out in the evening, then you've lost that natural light. And this is perfect for me right now because where my vanity is set up is right in front of a window and I do get the natural light because that's the most, um, I usually will put on makeup when I'm about to film, but when I'm going out in the evening and I do want to do my makeup just before, you know, leaving the house in the evening, I don't have that natural light. So I need some more lighting, but the overhead lighting that I have is just harsh and it doesn't give me like a true, um, you know, view of what my makeup is going to look like when I leave the house. So until I figure out a better vanity setup for myself, like a permanent setup, I decided to pick this up and I really like it. It has um, this USB. I have it plugged into, um, you know, one of those little bricks for the iPhone. But it has a USB so you can plug it in if you want to get like electricity charge. But it also has a place in the back where you can put some batteries. So if you're traveling, that might be better or, you know, even if you're home. And then it has a few panels. These are a couple of like magnifying panels. And this is the main panel. And then here is where you would press the button and then it lights up around. So it does give you some decent lighting, which I really like and I would recommend. I think you guys should check it out. And then the neck swivels. So you can adjust it to get the view that you're looking for. And then it has a little compartment in the front. I don't use that, but you can if you want to sit something in there. But overall, it's very like inexpensive and it does the job. So I think this is something that you, you know, could travel with and you don't have to be too sensitive about it if something were to happen. Next up, I want to talk to you guys about some handbags. And this is probably no surprise if you watch my channel, but this is absolutely one of my favorite things. I love this bag so much. This is my small Loewe puzzle. And this is like so good you guys it's been so convenient to carry and it's been really nice to have a bag that fits you know everything i need in it i mean i have larger bags but i've been you know on that micro bag trend and carrying like small little cross bodies and bags that are just actually impractical all around so it's been nice to switch to a bag that can fit my essentials into i even have a toiletry pouch in here my sunglasses keys right now it's full so it has that nice little dip that i really really love and i've heard that this flap in the front is inconvenient, but it's not. I mean, I don't have any issues with it and the color is perfect. I haven't had any problems with that. I am going to tie like a twilly around the handle, which I keep saying I'm going to do and I haven't done yet. But overall, I really love this bag. And before I purchased this bag, I even heard some things about the strap being annoying and this um, kind of like sliding down the little, uh, the little loop sliding down and this flapping around. I haven't had that problem. Once I put it on, it stays put for me. Um, maybe it might move around slightly, but it certainly has not shifted so much that the flap starts moving around. So I haven't had any issues with that. And I thought that I wouldn't even really carry it crossbody at all. I just like to keep the strap just in case I just need a moment to be hands free. But I've actually worn it cross crossbody a few times and I really love it. I've been enjoying it. All around, this is such a good bag and I definitely recommend it. For you guys who are thinking about it, you might be on the fence. And when I first showed this bag, um, I got a couple of comments from people saying that they were interested, but they weren't sure about the color. So if you guys are watching, let me know if you pulled the trigger. Did you get the bag? Because I've been loving it. The size is perfect and I get a lot of compliments on it and it's really great. I mean, Loewe has that panel feature, so it's nice to not have the logos all over it. I do love a logo, don't get me wrong, but sometimes it's nice to have a nice, like clean um, looking bag, you know, no logos on it. But if you know, you know, I love that. And now another handbag that I want to mention is this bag. This is my Saint Laurent Sac Du Jour in the Nano, I believe is what it's called. And I really love this bag. If you watch my Miami vlog and recap, then you guys saw like a clip of me carrying this when I went for a walk by the beach. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me carry this bag in my stories or in, um, you know, in a reel that I did actually as well when I was in Miami. But I love this bag, you guys. I think it's the cutest little thing. Now this I got from Fashion File. So it was pre-loved, but it was so good. And if you guys can track it down, definitely get it because the yellow is such a huge color right now. And before it became a huge color, it was kind of on like on my radar as a color that I just wanted to add to my wardrobe. I just wanted more yellow because it is a happy color. And as we were transitioning, we're still in that transition, but you know, closer to the end of the really cold weather, at least where I am, the weather's starting to warm up. We're seeing some really like really official spring weather closer to the end of like the cold fronts that we were having. I was really excited about adding more bright color pops and things in my wardrobe. So I was like, I just need more yellow. 
And this bag has been so handy. It goes with so many things. And as we're getting into the warmer weather, it's, I'm just reaching for it more and more. So I definitely recommend you guys checking it out. I know it comes in other colors as well, but it is a classic shape. Um, once I heard someone mention that it was kind of like um, the Birkin of Saint Laurent, which I really do agree with. It's a nice classic shape. It's never going to go out of style. Maybe it's not always super popular or trending, but bags like this are classic, so you can always rely on them, you know, really complimenting your outfit. I really like this, and this size is actually pretty perfect. Um, I wouldn't say it's a size for like a work tote, but for an everyday bag for me, um, this is a good size. I can fit my sunglasses in it. I can fit, um, you know, my wallet, everything I need. It's just an open space, so you can get an organizer for it if you wanted to, but overall, I'm just really here for the color and the size and the shape. It's perfect. Now moving on to an accessory that I have been getting a lot of questions about, surprisingly to me, is my earrings. These are the Dior Tribal Earrings in Pearl, and I love these so much, you guys. I feel like these are kind of like underrated. I know that these were really, really popular at a time, but now it seems that people, a lot of people still don't know about them or maybe people forgot about them, I'm not sure. But I have been good in questions, people asking me about my earrings and wanting to know where they're from or saying, oh my gosh, your earrings are so beautiful. More so like being surprised about them. So these are from Dior. These are super cute, very classic, but they're fun. They're like an edgy twist on a pearl earring. Especially when I have my hair up and away from my face, it really showcases them and they get a lot of attention. They're beautiful and I just really love them. I highly recommend them, especially if you love pearl. Now Dior does different versions of these. So um, like I think they do a new one like with every collection. That's what I have heard. I have seen quite a few varieties of them. Rose gold. I've seen blue ones, black ones with gold. Um, you know, ones with like stars on them. And then they have um, versions now that I have seen on the website that have like an initial hanging down so you can select your initial. You can mix and match Dior earrings. That's kind of like their thing. So if you have two sets of earrings, you can mix and match them. If you have more than one, a tribal earring, you can actually switch the front and the back to kind of have a different look. Let's say you wanted the pearl in the front and like the blue um, versions. They're not pearls, they're maybe like ceramic. You can put that in the back or flip it, whatever you want to do. So they are a lot of fun. I am interested in getting another pair of these. I just really love the pearls so much and I haven't seen a version that I love as much as the pearls. So we'll see, but I definitely recommend you guys checking these out. And the price has gone up maybe once or twice since I got these. So if you guys are interested in picking these up, I would say just jump on them because I'm pretty sure the price is gonna go up again. I mean, you guys are seeing what's going on in the luxury world with all the price increases. So I'm pretty certain these are gonna go up again. Next up, I wanna to talk to you guys about some pumps. These are by Sam Edelman. I recently received these in PR from Sam Edelman. I think I opened the box yesterday, actually, and I've already styled them up for you guys. But I love these. I think that they are a really great quality pump. The heel height is awesome. And before I had ever received a pair of shoes from Sam Edelman, I had already um, gotten the pumps in another color that I have worn so much. I've worn them a lot, and you have seen them styled on the channel a lot, and I've mentioned them a lot of times. I really love these. The heel height is perfect, and it's extremely practical, especially if you need to go into an office and you need to walk around all day if you're up and down for meetings. These are really great. So let me start with this one. Like This is a color I really wanted to have in my shoe collection. This is called Hazelnut. I really love these. Now, a while back, Sam Edelman released this pump in a, a color called Toasted Coconut, which was like a deeper, maybe like a chocolatey kind of brown, a little bit lighter than a chocolate brown. I thought it was such a good color. I don't know why I didn't pick them up. At the time, I had already purchased a pair in um, like a lighter shade than this. It was It's like an in-between these two. And I love them and I'm like, I'm gonna get the other color. And then when I finally decided I was gonna get them, they sold out and they have not brought that color back. I hope they do, but I'm really happy about this color as well. These are the kind of pumps that I think you guys should get a few colors in. Like definitely certainly get um, the black leather and then I would suggest one color in the suede, more like a nude color. But if you had a few colors in the nude range, then you'll be good to go. You'll have something for like every outfit because these are really good. They're really, really good. They're comfortable, like I said, and I can wear these for hours. I've walked in the mall with these on for like a few hours and my feet were not hurting. So I got the hazelnut and then I also got this color, which is a lighter color. This is called cappuccino. So definitely recommend it. You know, for my brown skin girls, this is a really good shade because this looks good on me and then it'll also look good on really um, deep skin tones, medium skin tones. This is a really good one. So if you're debating between, you know, which one to get if you don't want to get both, then I would say go ahead and get Hazelnut. 
I have one more item that I want to show you guys, and it is my Gian Vito Rossi Bijou sandals, and I love these, you guys. These are a mule style. They have a really reasonable heel height. They're just a lot of fun. A really cute pair of shoes. This color is really huge for the spring summer, but I mean, this color is never gonna go out of style. This is a very fun sandal, and it is on trend right now. This is a very trendy sandal, but it's a lot of fun. And I just have been able to style these a lot of ways. I was hesitant when I first saw these on the Farfetch website because I just wasn't sure if it was gonna be me. And I didn't like the way they looked on the model, so I wasn't sure about these. I did like the original versions with the higher heel height. Um, but I just knew they they weren't practical for me. And I wanted to be able to wear, I wanted a sandal that I could wear a lot. You know, in the evening, in the daytime, I wanted something that I could wear a lot. And I wasn't exactly looking for an evening shoe only. And I thought these were, you know, these fit the bill. So I tried them out and I really love them. I styled them up for you guys um, quite a few different ways. Originally, I got these in a Farfetch campaign, but I have styled them in a Walmart campaign. You guys have seen me style these in an Express campaign. I've worn these to take photos, running around the city in them, and they're so cute. I love these a lot, you guys. So originally I had a 10% off coupon code from Farfetch for you guys, but they bumped it up to 15%. So check the description box. I will have the code listed there. Um, exclusions do apply, but you guys should definitely check out Farfetch. Even if you are not interested in getting these, you can get something else. They have a ton to pick from. Um, but I love these, you guys. Love, love, love. I'll link that video for you guys as well, the video I did with in collaboration with Farfetch. So you can check out some of the other things that I picked up. Oh my gosh. And I had to share my pearl bag in another video. That's another one of my favorite things. I had to narrow down my favorites to just a few things because I didn't want this video to be too talky. So I will um, link to some other videos where I talked about some other pieces that I really love. So definitely check that video out. But yeah, so these are some of my favorites right now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments which piece is your favorite, which items are you picking up. And let me know if you have any of these, you know, like the Loewe puzzle, or maybe you already have the Gian Vito Rossi sandals or that mirror from Amazon because I had uh, mentioned it to you guys before. So let me know in the comments if you guys have any of these already. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. Make sure you subscribe and check out some of my other videos and check the description box for links to my other platforms. Instagram is a great place to check me out because that way we can chat in real time. And um, that's it for me, you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Be sure to check out my ebook. You guys, I got such a positive response from so many of you, and I thank you guys so much. I'm so happy you guys loved uh, my ebook where I share with you guys everything that I have done to get to the point that I'm at right now. I get so many questions about how to be successful on YouTube, what I did, you know, any tips that I have to offer, and literally everything is in that guide. And I got so much good feedback from you guys about how valuable you feel that this guide is and it truly is so now i'm really excited to say that you guys can get the audio version of this ebook i know a lot of you might be very busy but you still want to learn how to succeed on youtube you want some tips and some guidance and i know that a lot of people are just really busy maybe you're a mom maybe you are only able to listen while you're like on the computer at work so this audiobook is going to allow you to do that it's going to give you all the same information but now you can just listen and you don't have to sit in one place and read we're all very busy and I know we all are multitasking, but you still want to be able to get the information. So the audiobook is now live. You guys check the description box and pick it up. And I would love to know you guys' feedback. It helps so much in me just like, you know, being able to share more with you guys and just know that you're able to receive the information. So definitely check the description box. I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out as well. Oh.